Welcome to Boston's View. I'm JC Monahan. The movie The Fighter opens in theaters across the country this week. It's based on the life of boxer Mickey Ward. The professional boxer had a lot of obstacles on his climb from the streets of Lowell to championship matches. It's a story Hollywood loves. Does it have a Hollywood ending? We'll check in with Mickey, who joins me today. Thank you so much for coming in. You're hot in demand right now with the movie. <laughs> it uh, opened in limited release last Friday and did really well this weekend. That must make you happy. Yeah, but um, that makes me really happy that it, it's doing so good. Um, just, you know, I just want people to come out and enjoy themselves, uh, enjoy the movie for that matter. And uh, it's a great movie, so come on out and, and, and see it. Well, what is it like to see? First of all, what did you think of the movie? I liked it, loved it. It was a good movie. It was very good. Uh, you know, I'm kind of biased. It's, you know, it's about me. Yeah. So, you know. <laughs> but uh, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. My Christian Bale did a tremendous job. Mark Wahlberg did a great job too. Um, you know, as, as well as Melissa Leo and Amy Adams. Everyone did a good. The whole cast did a great job. You have so a I was huge really happy. cast. Huge cast. Mm -hmm. What is it like hearing Mark Wahlberg is going to play you in a movie? Is this a good choice by your standards? Are you happy? Yeah, I was very happy. Mark, Mark nailed it. Mark did a good job. And, Mark could be a, a boxer himself if he wanted to, if he really trained for it. But uh, obviously he's an actor, but uh, if he wanted to fight, he probably could. Really? Yeah, he's really good. Really authentic. He very much. Oh, that's great. You've already seen the movie four or five times. Yes. Which is great, which, <laughs> which is good. It, it has to be tough, though, to see. I mean, there's so much captured in this film in terms of sort of the family infighting that happened, mm -hmm. some problems with your brother. That's who Christian Bale plays, Dickie, exactly. right? Yes. And he, he was your trainer, but also got into some legal problems, some drug problems, all while you're trying to make this comeback. I just mm -hmm. imagine that's tough to see on screen. Yeah, it's tough. It. it is tough, um, but you kind of grow a callous to it when you, did, when you lived it, and when you watch it, you, you know it's not happening again right then. So you kind of grow a callous to it. You get, you know, it makes you stronger. And, uh, but it was, it was tough uh, looking at it, I mean, going through it when I was going through it back in the, in the 90s. Right. What was mm -hmm. that like? I, your brother was trying to train you, right? At the same, he was the big fighter in the family. He went toe to toe with Sugar Ray Leonard. Right. Yeah, he was the fighter. Uh, you know, and he was still training me as he was going through his problems with his uh, drugs and stuff. Mm -hmm. He was still there. I don't know. He, he's like, he's a different type of person. He's a different specimen. You know, he he can do. I don't know how he did it, but he was training me as hard as anybody else when he was all messed up. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing about him. He had that knack to do that. And to this day, it's. He can still go out and do crazy things and uh, not be in shape to do them, but he can still do them. I don't know how he does it. What, what is, you, they talk, they spin the movie as the redemption of the two, the two fighters from Lowell to get that big championship, give pride mm -hmm. to the city of Lowell. What is your relationship like with your brother now? Oh, it's good. You know, I've always been close with him. We've had ups and downs, but, you know, I've always been close with him. With the whole, whole family, for that matter. You know, I love them all, and you know, it's things you go through things in life, but uh, we're still very close. What, what's, what did your family think of all of this happening on the big screen? Well, you know, I'm sure it's different. I haven't really talked to each and every one of them, but uh, I'm sure some of them like it, some of them don't. You know, it's just. <laughs> well, I don't know if they don't like it or they don't agree with some things. It's mm -hmm. you know, it's just seven sisters. I don't think everyone's gonna agree. Well, that's tough. It's yeah. tough to get them all on the screen. And to, well, I don't know that seven sisters ever agree on anything. So really, right. yeah. <laughs> um, so now that you've lived this on the big screen, uh, what is next for you? Um, I'm just, you know, I work with my team still, local 25. I'm a team. I'll be doing that still. Uh, you know, I got a boxing gym in Chelmsford, Gold's inside the Gold's gym. I'm busy with that, and I also am partners in a, a greater little deck hockey in, behind the Gold's gym in Chelmsford also. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so I'm busy with those things, and uh, you can just continue to work and hopefully, uh, you know, just, just work and just be normal. Just be normal. That's Not it. everybody gets, that's, that's a good word to use. It's hard when you're, you know, you're watching the, um, your life played out on, mm. across the country now. People are going to know who Mickey Ward is, not just right. Lowell, not just boxing fans. Right. Is there any trepidation on your part that so many people will be so aware of you and your family and your history? No, I mean, it's, it's good. It, you know, it makes it all worthwhile, all the ups and downs you've, you went through. Uh, it makes it all worthwhile, like, when people recognize you and people know who you are. But, but I really don't, it doesn't really bother me. It doesn't, I really don't care about that part of it. Mm -hmm. You know, I just want to just, I'm, I'm in the back mode. You know? I'm not a big limelight type of person, so. But I enjoy it. I mean, don't get me wrong. I enjoy it. It's not bad, you know. It's, 
It's good. You're riding the wave while it's here, That's right? That's it, right? Yeah, might as well. What do you think, um, Mickey, your legacy will be in the end? How do you think people will remember you? I just hope as like, you know, um, a good, honest person that um, worked hard, fought hard, um, and just uh, treated people with respect, and uh, in doing that, just you know, get respect back. Do you think your life has a Hollywood ending? I don't know. I got people. I, I'm just. Uh, I don't even look at it like that. Yeah. I don't, I, hopefully, but you know, everyone has their own perception of me or how, what I am, and so I don't know. All right, I have to ask one more question because they're wrapping me. But for for sports fans out there, some of your biggest fights, the ones you're most famous for, aren't in the movie. How, is that is that just because of the Hollywood spin on it? You're okay with some of your big climax moments not sort of making it to the big screen? Yeah, I'm fine with it. It's, you know, as long as I, uh, as long as I, as long as it does good and you know the movie's good, that's all I care about. And you give it a thumbs up. I give it two thumbs up. Gives it two thumbs up. <laughs> two thumbs up. All right, guys, listen. The Fighter is in limited release right now. It goes nationwide this Friday, Friday, December 17th. So make sure you check it out. And as always, thanks for checking out Boston's View. Thanks, Mickey. You got it.